thoughts traveling in light speed through my mind thinking. It's not about nationality, it's about personality. Maybe that's a strong opinion of mine. Some say an opinion can be your own understanding, which makes it a fact, if you think about it. If we keep the stereotype going, how can the world ever change for the better? Somebody has to have the guts to set a good example. And when it's all said and done, ask yourself this question. Is that somebody you? In my quest, I set out to find people from various cultures to give insight on what's their definition of the independent woman. It's all about communication, and communication can save relationships, whether intimate or platonic. Growing up, my mother always reminded me that a closed mouth doesn't get fed, neither does a closed mind. With that analogy instilled in me, one day I came to a conclusion to create a film about women and their independence. I pretty much got tired of races being singled out just because of what society was conditioned to think. Hopefully this documentary shines through the world to touch each and every human being, no matter what race, religion, age, height, weight, or financial structure. Allow me to take you on a journey to explore one of the most talked about subject matters. Welcome to Miss Independent Woman, the movie. What's your definition of an independent woman? A lady who can hold her own. She has her own job. She supports herself. A woman who knows what she wants and understands how to get it. She can take care of her, herself, um, her children if she has any, but she can take care of herself without having to rely on a partner to take care of her. A woman that works, a woman that, you know, pay own bills, a woman that can take herself shopping, you know, doesn't have to wait week to week for a man to give her money. And somebody who can do bad all by themselves. You don't need anybody. You don't need your mother, you don't need no uncle, no lover, whoever it is, straight or gay. Um, you know, you just basically, you're a go-getter. Doesn't have to rely on a man, um, someone who has a job, I feel like anybody who understands how expensive paying for two can be is a is a good thing. That said, a lot of times it comes off as a, as a as a front, you know. A woman can be real loud and independent, but once you get behind closed doors, something else can come out. I think a woman that can just stand on her own two feet. I mean, whether she's in a relationship or not, but she's she's okay on her own. She can take care of herself. When in a relationship, she can contribute, but on her own, she can take care of herself. For me, it's someone that's self-sufficient, uh, a woman that is able to provide for herself, to provide, if need be, for her family, um, and that doesn't look for someone else to actually be her main source of support. Definitely, um, basically what you said is how I look at it, and also just basically to always hold your own regardless, man or woman, just always hold your own regardless. I don't think a woman should define herself as independent by social status or economic class or wealth. I feel that independence is strength. Strong and powerful. A lot of them have their own businesses. A lot of them, the majority of them are doctors, lawyers. You know, they have their own salons, they have their own shops, clothing stores, designers. Well, see, you say independent, I just think that's all across the board. But I guess women and men are separate. And to me, being independent, is taking care of my own no matter what. No matter if it's money, if it's my own sanity, if it's anything in life, just being independent on my own and I don't have to answer to anybody. No matter what, I will have my own back in any situation. An independent woman to me is just someone who has their own thought process, um, who 
not necessarily controlled by her man, but um, she can think, she can support him the way she needs to. She's maybe either um, going to school and paying for it on her own. Um, she may be taking care of children on her own. She may be taking care of somebody else's children. Um, there's a lot of things that can define an independent woman. An independent woman doesn't necessarily have to be a single woman. Mm. She could be a married woman, but she could still be independent of her husband and her um, own thoughts. I think I have mixed feelings about the term independent woman mm -hmm. because, for example, I, w I was just thinking about that today. Um, I'm moving with my boyfriend to California, and it's against everything in my gut to move for somebody to another state. Um, and yet, I have to also think about doing it for myself. So, um, I think in the, being an independent woman is sort of striving to make yourself happy and doing whatever it takes to achieve that sense of happiness. It doesn't matter what I think of them because they're, they're independent of you know society as a whole. I think that for women to uh, be within society, um, there's a definite role for them to be uh, attributed to, um, whether it's wife or mother, etc. I feel like you have to sacrifice um, some of your, your, your independence and your free thinking to be a good wife. I feel like you have to give up, you know, some of your, your free thinking, your independence, maybe your ability to not be emotionally attached to be a good mother. And so, um, you know, I think that there's a lot of varying definitions of independent woman, but in the way that I defined it, um, I think that it detaches a woman from society more than it, you know, attaches that woman to society. You don't need no man for nothing. Being independent doesn't mean that you don't have to have a man. You don't need a man to pay a bill. I need a woman that definitely won't rely on anybody else. Independent women need love too, and um, you know, but it, it's just being that financial support, um, you know, unlike it was back in the day. Well, to me, an independent woman is like someone that like follows their dreams and they don't stop until, like without like any obstacles. I think independent woman is someone who doesn't need a man or doesn't need her family to fall back on. She can handle her business. She works and takes care of her household and her kids and anything else that falls in place with that. Understands her goals, her positioning in relation to those goals, and has the audacity to achieve those goals. Um, with, with or without, you know, the, the male counterpart, I, I don't think that really plays a huge part in a woman being independent. Somebody that knows when to be dependent. I think that a lot of women thinks it means not needing anybody, and I think it means the opposite knowing when you do need somebody because God created us all to have someone that's why we're here so independence really is being able to to keep it amongst just you too I think an independent woman is someone who definitely has her own mind and um, to set her own goals and really be sufficient on her own without anybody else I guess a woman who does for herself or doesn't need anybody else to do anything for her. Sometimes help is welcome, but she can definitely take care of her own business. I like I like the I like independent women. I mean, it all depends, of course, but um, with independent women, it's kind of tricky because it's like you get into a relationship with them. It's almost like you gotta it's like you gotta make sure you know who's actually wearing the pants in that relationship. They're willing to um, defend themselves and their thoughts and their ideas. And speak up and go the real traditional route and say someone who pays their own bills and can take care of themselves. But I think more so, there are plenty of people out here that can do that. Own business, making their own money, own home, own ride, own life. She's lucky she has a man beside her. For me, it's financially, I like to be able to stand on my own two feet. Um, not being able to depend on anyone else to take care of, you know, what I think I need to accomplish in my life because my future depends on me. You know, when you're doing your own shit, they don't, they don't feel like they can treat you any type of way or treat you like a bitch because they know that you can leave them and it won't be no deal because you can still do everything you're doing before them. Women saying that they're independent and this, that, and the third is trying to convince themselves 
that they don't need a man to get them things, you know what I mean? Um, I think an independent woman or a strong woman is, is strong enough to know that she can do whatever she wants to do for herself, but also feminine enough and soft enough and gentle enough to let the man feel like he's in the driver's seat. I've had to be independent. I've been on my own since I was 17. An independent woman is a, a individual, a female who can, uh, who can, who has balance, who's evenly yoked, uh, who can be able to manage her mind, body, and spirit, um, and be able to, be, you know, it's a complete woman, you know, outside of uh, whatever other distractions or other situations, whether it be in a relationship with a man or just friends, or whatever. She's a uh, a woman that can hold her own. It's basically a control thing. So a woman being independent, that not necessarily mean material things being free from, but independent meaning your mind, meaning your spirit, you know, it's free from um, a bunch of subliminal media things, you know, that's being independent, being able to think for yourself. I don't really believe there is such thing as an independent woman. Yeah, I don't really feel like there's one particular definition because that's just like a box of categories that if you meet these little requirements then you're independent. A woman who's an independent thinker, mm -hmm. one who defines herself based on the experiences and based on the knowledge of herself. So in that independence, it might not be what everybody thinks you should be. An independent right. woman is someone who is self-defined mm -hmm. and who is, um, walks in the definition of herself. Um, and sure, on a surface level, it could mean you know, I have my own money, I have my degrees, but at the end of the day, it's I'm Sasha, I'm independent of anyone else in the right. sense of I know who I am as the way the Creator made me, and I want to walk through life as that person. Definitely educated, you know what I'm saying, motivated, ambitious. Take care of all of their responsibilities. There's no such thing as an independent woman because we're all dependent depending upon each other. Like if anything comes to you, you're able to handle it no matter like which way it is. It's a woman who sticks strong to her beliefs and what she wants to do. I think a woman who doesn't take, she doesn't take no for an answer and she goes head strong to what she wants. But she still has her uh, plans and things that she does. Uh, she likes what she likes. I like what I like, but the understanding is there. The woman out there is confident in herself, who's out there trying to do for do for herself, not rely on a man, you know. She's confident in her abilities. Um, she's about family, and she, and she wants a great man in her life, but you know what, she's not going to go down, you know, go chasing one. Someone who loves herself um, first, not to be selfish, but you know, you have to love yourself before you can love somebody else. I mean, she has a mate on the side, but she doesn't really, really have to have it, not by natural. That's extra. That's an independent one. Uh, well, being one, I think that they're great. It's important to have your own identity and be able to take care of your own. A woman that is spiritually connected, is mentally sound, and is always searching for more, always looking to do more, but is still happy and pleased with her success. The meaning of an independent woman to me is, you know, being able to have a vision of your own and complete your vision by taking action. I think it's something that they're trying to find themselves in. Because basically most women want to know who they are inside. So that independence, you got to actually analyze that. So I feel like it's not a feminist movement per se as it was in like the 1970s. Nowadays, it's more so women are trying to, you know, bring their sister up with them and lead the trail more so than I'm just going to do it myself. Independence is really not about financial independence, but being free of all worries and free of all stress, free of all obligations and, you know, just not waiting to be accepted. The creation of an independent woman really, truthfully, would never be, and the reason why is because God made woman to be man's helpmate, and I feel God would never allow you know, the woman to totally become independent because even if she has her own place, her own car, her own job, she can own her own corporation. But when it comes time to have that baby, she still needs that man.